buildings and monuments are also they they also sort of represent specific moments in the past. Yeah, since we are in Karnataka, if you go to Sri Ranga Patna, there's Tipu Sultan Tama Palace there. Now you can think of Tipu as this king who fought battles, inscriptions, did this, did that. But you go and look at his building, and you get a very different insight into his mind because it has this huge mural painting depicting the Battle of Pollalur of around 1780. It's a work of propaganda. He's trying to show his image of what happened there. But he won that battle, so he's shown in all this carnage. There's headless corpses, arms have been chopped off. In the middle of all this, he's on a big horse smelling a rose as if he's in a garden because he's, you know, showing that I'm such a confident victor. It doesn't matter. I'm winning this game. And the English opponent on the other side, a Colonel Bailey, I think, he's shown sitting in a palanquin, which is considered effeminate. You know, women sit in palanquins, chewing his nails, quite literally chewing his nails. It's a work of art, but it's also a way of connecting to history.